Hi all, welcome to Azure Content. So in this video, we are going to learn how to use az copy command in order to copy the data from on-premise local system to your Azure storage account. Okay, so sometimes we have a requirement to copy the data from our local system to Azure storage account and to achieve that there are various possible ways. One way is to create Azure data factory pipelines and to use something called SFTP linked service and you also have to create self-hosted integration runtime to load your data from local system to storage account. But we can achieve the same requirement with the help of this easier approach of using az copy command. So what is az copy? It's basically a command line utility that helps us to copy files or blobs from one storage account to another storage account or from on-premise to Azure storage account. So what we exactly need to do is we want to copy this source1.csv file which is present in the sample data folder in my desktop. So I want to copy this and I want to store it in one of the containers. So let me create a new container. So let me name it as sample container. Okay. Let me give a small case and let me create it. Yeah. So the storage account container has been created. You can see it here sample container is present and now we want to copy this source1.csv into our sample container so what are the prerequisites so the first thing that you need to do is we need to go into this az copy documentation and here if we scroll down we can find the az copy executable files and according to your operating system, it might be Windows operating system, it might be Linux, or you might be using Mac OS. So according to your operating system, just download this az copy executable file. So for me, uh, I'm going to go ahead with Windows 64 bit. So uh, once we hit on that, it will be downloading this .zip file. So let me open that file. So with the help of this executable file present in this zip folder, uh, I'm going to copy my file from on-premise into Azure storage account. So first thing, let me uh, copy this file path and keep it in a notepad. And now let me also copy the file path of the source file, which I want to copy into my Azure storage account. So this is the folder and inside this folder, our file name is source1.csv. Okay, so let me have the whole file path here. So this is the file that I want to copy from my local on-premise system into Azure storage account. So now in order to write some data into this container, we need some authentication method. And for that, what we will use is we will use this shared access token. So this is also known as SAS token. So if we directly go ahead and generate this SAS token, we won't be able to write the data into this container because if you see the default permissions that is set is read access and if I open this so you can see only read access is allowed by default so if we I want to write the data I need to have this write access as well so make sure that you need to select all the permissions that you want to have uh, in this container and then and only you can generate this SAS token. So once I hit on this generate SAS token option, you can see SAS token is also generated and the SAS URL is also generated. So I need this SAS URL. Let me copy this and keep it handy. Okay, so now let me go back to az copy documentation. And here the command that is needed in order to perform the copy is this one. Okay, so using SAS token, we are going to move the data from on-premise to Azure storage. So let me paste this az copy command as well. And here you can see we need to replace few values. That is the first one is which file you want to copy. So let me remove this and let me have the source file path into this file path option. And then here we will replace this value and we will copy our SAS URL and keep it here. Okay, so our az copy command is ready. So before running this command, let's try to change our directory to the place where our executable file is present. Okay, so it says system cannot find the path specified. Let me go here. And uh, we have actually specified the .zip file uh, path. Let me extract it. And once it is extracted, we will give this path. So let me copy this path. 
and here instead of dot zip we will have this path and now let's try to change the directory to this path okay so we will give command cd for change directory and once we do that you can see our uh, cmd is now pointing to the folder where our dot exe file is present so now we are ready to use this az copy command so let me copy this and let me go to cmd so once i hit on enter it will run the command and we would expect that it will copy the data into this container so currently it doesn't have any file or any data so let me hit on enter so yeah you can see this process has been started and it has successfully transferred one file okay so you can see number of files transferred is one and there is no failure there is no files that is skipped so the process is completed successfully so now let's go to the container and here let me hit on refresh yeah so you can see our source1.csv is present and we can also validate the data let me open this file in my on premise local system so it should have the same data as the container has so let me open the data here as well yeah so you can validate that the data is also correct okay so this is how you can uh, copy the data from on premise local system to azure storage account with the help of az copy command so that's it for this video guys i hope you find this video helpful please stay tuned with this channel and please hit on like button and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet thank you